Hello, hello, hello. Hey, you guys. So today we're gonna be talking about this look and the palette that I use. This baby right here, the Zulu by Juvia's Place palette. Listen, you guys, this palette is the ish. The pigmentation, they're very good. Like, they're really good. Look at the colors. These babies are nice. It has one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six matte colors and one, two, three, three shimmery, glittery colors in there. Um, as far as the uh, delivery goes, it took a week before I could get it. However, I, you know how other companies they'll like send you emails and notification of like when your package has been packed and shipped. They didn't send me anything. I had to reach out to them and then they replied to me the next day and they were like, um, we'll let you guys know when we're gonna send out the package. Thank you for reaching out, yada, 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 yada. Mind you, I ordered this last Thursday and I thought it was gonna be here in like two, three days because I did pay the um, the early shipping fee or whatever the case may be, but um, they didn't send it. As far as customer service go, they really kept in touch with me and um, this palette is beautiful. Like, just look at it. The packaging is cute. It's just, guys, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And I watched some people's review and some of their stuff was like all crumbled and I was like, if Juvia's try me, you guys, if Juvia's place try me like that, it's gonna be a problem. But they did not. Everything came beautifully. Like, I ordered three of them actually. I ordered, um. This one, the Zulu palette, and I have the Saharan by Juvia's. I got this guy. And then my favorite one, which I am waiting. I'm like, I cannot wait till you guys see the other video of that one, is the Festival by Juvia's. This baby is cute. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at look at this, y'all. This is beautiful. The only thing I realized with this one that's different from the other two that I have, this one doesn't have names for the shadows. And it doesn't have like a whole description on the back. Well, none of them have description on the back. But um, it came in like these boxes. Came in these boxes. And then all of them, each individual one was wrapped in this. And I'm like, ooh, this is cute. This is fancy. But um, that's basically it. They're really, they were really cute. Like I don't, I looked on the back of this box to see if like the colors would be on it, but no. The Zulu palette doesn't have colors on it that I can be like, okay, use it. They don't have the name of the colors. But um, if you guys want to see how I came up with this look using this palette, then stay tuned. This is how the palettes came beautifully packed up and all oh my god it's so pretty um i'm gonna be setting my eyelids with the sasha buttercup i already did my eyebrows off camera and everything i'm just sitting right here where i did my concealing then i'll be taking this juvia's place palette the zulu palette and um i'm gonna be putting on some of those eyeshadows now for my transition and shade i'm gonna be using that yellow you saw me show you guys for some reason i thought it would pop some more like it would come out oh so bright but i was scared to dip my to dip the brush in it i don't know why but i was just like oh my god i don't want to really dip it in juvia's like that <laughs> but i mean it wasn't that bright as for the orange though like look at the orange the orange popped in like one slide. I was like, oh, oh, okay, orange, I see you. But the orange really, really did its stuff. It really came out beautifully. And now I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting my crease. And I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I do not remember what shade this is in, but I always get it a shade super lighter than I am. I do that little trick where I look up to make sure the top part of my crease is above because I have... I don't know what you guys call them like the little dent in your eyes or whatever so i try to put my cut crease above the dent so you know whatever eyeshadow i put on after that shows i don't know exactly how to explain it but you guys saw what i was trying to do yeah your girl i i, I learned it off of watching other people's videos 
Now I'm just taking a black from my regular um, eyeshadow palette that I had and I'm just putting it right at the corner to give it that little smoky feel a little bit. And then I'll be using this peachy shimmery color to put on my lids to put where I had the cut crease. I was just looking to see if it was going to look okay. It wasn't really, so I did, I sprayed my um, brush with my setting spray to see if I could pick up some more on there. And then that baby started looking bright, sis. Like when I tell you I was scared to pick up these eyeshadows with the brush. I don't know why. I was just like, oh, I don't want to mess it up. It's just so beautiful. But it came out looking good. I just got to press down on it some more. I don't know why. I was just like, ah, oh, this is too pretty. I don't want to mess it up at all. But yeah, you guys, I take my time and I put that on. And I do it for the other eye as well. What you want to do, you see how tedious it is to go right along where you made your cut crease. You do not want to go over it or else it's just going to ruin the whole cut crease business. And one tip too, you guys, make sure that your concealer or whatever you use to try and cut your crease is dry. Because you do not want to put foundation, not foundation, but eyeshadow on with your damn you know the the concealer that you use to cut your crease with is not dry it's not gonna it's not gonna go on right so i'm just smoking out the edges a little bit more trying to make everything defined or whatever and then i'm using the matte liquid liner but then i realized that it wasn't giving me that line look that i needed so you guys are gonna see me go over it with my mac gel black liner and that one was really giving me like a little bit more better look as far as what i was going for this i, I don't know i was just being you know nosy and decided to go buy this one but it's really thin maybe this i would use the gel one for like just trying to get the perfect wings out on the corner because sis this is not to put on regular eyeshadow like look at that that thing is sloppy i was like oh no let me go and get my gel liner real quick and then i just decided to stop put that on i was not gonna do it like yep get the good old gel liner here put that baby on real quick like that was that was way better I still need to get better at putting on a lot of y'all. Oh my God, this thing looks low-key sloppy. But it's working. It's going. Um, I did the same thing for my inner waterline. I do my waterline with the gel liner as well. Because I wanted to give it like a darker look down there. And then after that, I'm going to be setting my... Not setting my face, but priming my face with my e.l.f. primer. Because today was mostly about the eyeshadow, I'm not going to do too much for my face. I'm just going to do a little bit of color correcting. Nothing too, you know, drastic or whatever. I'm just putting it all over my dark spots or, and everything. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take my beauty blender and damp that off. Or should I say and blend it all in. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use my MAC foundation. I'm going to use my MAC foundation and just put it on really light on my face. It's, it's, it's not, I'm not even going to, you know, highlight. Well, yes, I am highlighting, but I'm not going to do any concealing and contouring. I'm not going to do none of that. I'm just going to use regular all i did i set underneath my eyes you know the parts that you would conceal i set all of right there the part where i would put my concealer i set all of there so it would kind of look like i had concealer on and did all of that but i really didn't i don't know i just i don't know where i got this trick from because it, it it was just a quick little video and i was like i'm not gonna spend all day i have to go to work and i just go ahead and dust that off with my brush I didn't even leave the nose. I just dust everything away. I'm like, I gotta hurry up and get out of here, you guys. My baby was in the room with his dad, talking away, having fun. I'm like, oh my God. But now I'm just putting on my lashes, y'all. These lashes are the best. I got them off of AliExpress. Oh my God, they're beautiful. They were like a dollar something and three came in it. But um, I'm putting the orange 
underneath my eyes right down where I did the gel liner in my waterline just be a little bit below that I'm doing the orange and then I'm gonna put the yellow down there as well a little bit of the yellow I did I mixed those together um that that I just show you guys is a powder contour kit I'm just you know putting in a little bit in the cheekbones or whatever to make it pop a little bit and then I'm highlighting my brow bone and then I'm gonna also go ahead and highlight my nose and my cheeks and all that stuff. I use my fingers first, you guys. And then after that, I use the brush to just, you know, blend everything out properly. This highlight highlighter kit that I have, look at look at look at my husband with the baby in the back. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know what was going on. Look at him. <laughs> just all interrupted my video anyways back to what i was saying oh my god i'm just setting my face now with my setting spray and then i'll just be lining my lip with a black liner i forgot to record the part with me putting on my lip gloss but i just had on a regular shiny lip gloss all right you guys that's it let me know how you like this look pretty simple beat um, thank you guys for tuning in and watching another makeup tutorial with Chelsea and for my new subscribers Thank you guys so much for subscribing if you're new to my channel and have not yet subscribed Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and along with the bell button beside it So you will be notified of whatever I'll be uploading another video I'm gonna do another tutorial or two more tutorials on um these two palettes But I haven't gotten to them yet. So stay tuned for that guys Everything will be in my description box below. And for my hair, I got this from Unice Hair Company. I got it for over a year now. And since recently, like, before before um, Valentine's Day, I decided to dye it red. Because, you know, Valentine's Day, dyeing the hair red. Yeah, I did that. This is how it looked when I first dyed it and colored it. But um, they sent me a code. And I like to save. Like, I like looking good on a budget. So... I'm gonna put my coupon code for you nice hair in my description box below and you guys get on it go over there they already have hair on sales already you can add that coupon to it get you a little change off and then order look and slay stay on my channel and I'll show you how to make a wig using your hair don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see me do next it's been a pleasure filming for you guys and see you later like and subscribe peace and love guys bye